Hi, welcome to datacaredubai.com channel. Today we'll see how to install uh, Transmission BitTorrent client on your QNAP. Um, we will use Transmission as a containerized application and um, use container station for that. Um, we'll not go the usual way which you would have gotten used to which is uh, downloading a QPKG file and installing it. Uh, if you don't understand what a container station is or what a containerized application is then don't worry. We will show you step by step on how to configure it and will not keep it too technical. Uh, as you might have realized by now, you will need container station um, installed in your QNAP. If you have not installed it, then go to App Center and install it from there. It's a one step process, uh, very easy to do. Um, Alright, so let's start. I have already installed container station in my QNAP. When you open container station, it shows you the CPU uses, memory uses, and a couple of things. Um, on the left, you will see an option to create a new container. Click on that and search for an image since you're trying to. Uh, install transmission we will search for transmission and look at transmission on docker hub because we will use docker to do this which is a container um, linux server transmission the very first image that you see um, a transmission container brought to you by linux server.io will use this because linux server.io is a, a reputed name uh, and uh, we can trust this one so click on install it will download that image uh use the latest version click on next all right uh, give it a name forget about the command come forget about the entry point leave auto start on uh, what auto start means is in case uh, your host or your main qnap shuts down and restarts then this container will automatically restart as well so you will not have to start transmission every time you um, reboot your qnap CPU limit is the maximum uh, CPU that uh, could be allocated to this application. Give it 20% uh, though it will never go to that extent. It is dynamically allocated. Memory, you will never need more than 1024 MB of memory. Click on advanced settings. Forget about link, forget about environment. Look at the network. Um, make sure your network mode is net and add a port forwarding of 9091 to 9091 under the container all right now what we are doing here is we are using a networking mode as net which means it will um, the container will use the same ip address as your uh, qnap device and um, 9091 port from your main qnap will be forwarded to the application so you will be able to access your transmission with um, your qnap's ip address um, on 9091 port we'll see shortly how to do that um, forget about the devices um, on the shared folders, you will have to create one shared folder, volume from host, add, and the host path. Okay, before uh, we do that, um, uh, see, I have already created a directory called transmission config under the container directory. I have a directory called container here. Under that, I have a directory called transmission here, and then I have a subdirectory called config there. The idea is that this config directory should be storing some um, configuration files for transmission. Uh, so we'll have to mount that how we do that is we select this config here and mount it with a root config directory that's all you need to do just remember this um, backslash container backslash transmission backslash config this is the directory um, on my qnap and this will be mapped to this directory backslash config on the uh, container so whatever container saves in this directory will be accessible to us in this directory. Yes. On the network again, um, keep it under net and just forward port 9091 to port 9091 of the container. That's all that you need to do now. Click on create, hit back and uh, wait for it to be completed. You will see that this is uh, creating the container. It's downloading and then we'll create it. So we'll wait. All right, it's completed. Go to overview and look at your transmission. Click on it and uh, I will be able to see it. It shows me the URL. This is the uh, IP address of my uh, QNAP and 9091 port has been forwarded to 9091. If I click on this, I'll be taken to my transmission web interface and everything is done. Yes, we can uh, try to see if this works by choosing a file just for the testing purpose upload it and let's wait for this to 
all right you can see this is working and 15 mb has been downloaded already let's pause it okay now one thing here um this is not a very secure installation so far because we don't have a username we don't have a password and we have not given any authentication so anybody can access this if um, your uh, 9091 port has been forwarded from outside then anybody will be able to use your transmission to download so now let's see how to uh, secure this installation if you remember i said earlier that under the file station um, uh, under uh, container and transmission and, and config we had uh, um, uh, taken the access let's see under the config directory you will see a file called settings.json this is the file uh, which we are after and we will uh, change a few settings in this file but before we do that we need to stop our container because if the container is running then it will um, overwrite those files every time uh, uh, you try to do anything okay this is stopped now now let's try to edit this file I have also installed um, QNAP text editor in case you don't have it then you can download the file edit it and then um, upload it again um, the settings we are after is called RPC authentication required look look at this RPC authentication required right now authentication is not required here's false we'll make this true all right our key username we'll give it a username let's see admin for now and the password we will give it a password called password don't worry i know what you're thinking you're thinking this is a, a clear text file but next time when it saves it this password will automatically be converted to an md5 hash uh, so three things we did here rpc username we gave rpc password we gave and rpc authentication required we um, gave a true here let's save it and then go to container station uh, and start it now when you try to access your transmission web interface it will ask you for a username and password that's all there is to installing transmission on uh, qnap uh, thanks for watching